good to all and welcome back everyone to Let's Play Gothic. After we survive the attack of the killer lizards, we are going to take this copper beach seat or whatever. There, are, this is the only place where you find this where you find the seats, and they only restore five mana, so it's pretty much pointless. But just a detail. We just continue and kill some innocent scavengers because I can, because I want to. Uh, kill those scavengers, for God's sake. Oh, you want to west with me? I'm gonna punch you. Whoa. Take that. Take that. Take that too. You don't look at me that. Don't look at me in that way, otherwise, you get my sword in your bloody fly face. So, we better continue, instead of bordering with the cre creatures of this abysmal colony. Abysmal was totally false, false expression, but anyway. As you see, we reached the swamp camp. This is... It looks a little bit messy, but it's... Here we are. Down there lies the camp of the Brotherhood. Go through the gate and speak to my brothers. I'm sure you haven't come here for nothing. Ask for Kor Kalam. He's in charge of the novices and tutors. I'll go back to the old camp. There are still many infidels who need to be guided to the right path. Good luck. I could do so. It's a pity that his health isn't still that he's still so healthy. Otherwise, I I mostly just try to knock him down and steal his weapon because it's a pretty strong one. But you get one with, with the same power here in the camp. So this is it. Greetings, stranger. You're treading on holy ground. This is the Brotherhood of the Sleeper. What brings you here? I heard you're looking for new people. I want to join you. Then, be welcome. The Brotherhood of the Sleeper has a place for everybody who wants to be led by the spirit of the Sleeper. If you're really serious, you should try to get Baal Namib's attention. He's standing in the courtyard just behind the gate. Uh, but you may not speak to him. Wait until he addresses you. Yeah, that's the clue of this camp. You can't just speak to the to the gurus because they got him pissed off. I just show it to you. Is everything all right, pal? Yeah, he just do do this. I don't know. This doesn't sound for me like a science. It's just more like like a crazed wild boar or. Whatever. You addressed a guru. Never do that again. It's sacrilege. If a master wants to talk to you, he shall address you. Okay, I got it. But I want to talk to your master. Forget it. I'm sure I can help you with any of your problems. Who are you? I'm Lester. I take care of the strangers who arrive here. I want to become a member of the Brotherhood. Kor Kalom decides whether you're ready to join the Brotherhood, but he relies on the advice of other gurus. Bal Namib over there is one of them. First, you'll have to prove that you're worthy, and then one of the gurus will send you to Kor Kalom. How's that supposed to work if none of the gurus will talk to me? It might not look like it. But the gurus observe everything you do here in the camp. If they think that you deserve to become a member of the community, they'll talk to you. You're bound to have opportunities in the camp to prove that you're worthy. So... Tell me something about the camp. What do you want to know? Ah, that's interesting. How can I find my way around here in the camp? I can show you the most important places. Yeah, that's very important because the sect camp is very m is a great maze. Show me the way. It's a big maze. Uh, we first go to the smithy. To the blacksmith shop. Follow me. 
And we also can talk to him about Bal Namib, how to get the attention of Bal Namib. This place is really amazing. It doesn't look like it, but as I played first this played this game first, I got so lost. I was just totally where the fuck I am, where I need to go, where's the freaking exit? It's really hard to to orient orient you orientate uh, to just find your way through that camp without Lester's help at the beginning. Without Lester you're pretty much lost. But of course I know more or less now where where it is. I mean it's my <laughs> playthrough number nine, eight. So I know this play is pretty good. That's the Smithy. Have a look around. I'll wait here for about an hour. Then I'll leave. So now we can talk to him about Bal Namib. He shouldn't believe everything he hears. How can I get your master to talk to me? You have to know what he wants to hear. And that is? Listen, when we're with him the next time, you'll address me and we'll have a little talk. Bal Namib is worried because many of the novices don't only pray to the sleeper, but also to their former gods. You'll tell me that you've renounced the old gods and that, in future, you'll pray only to the sleeper. Then I'll ask you why you made this decision, and you'll say that you had a vision in which the sleeper summoned you. He'll be interested then. Do you think you'll manage that? No problem. Yeah, no. Really no May problem. May the sleeper protect you. Alright, we need to say that he should go back. Show me the way. To the main gate. I was just walking back to the main gate, so we, like in the old camp, we're going to plunder them. Is it even an English word? We're just going to steal their steal their stuff. Oh crap! There we go. What wonderful axe! Twenty nine damage. Some mandibles of the crawler and blade and raw steel we can we could smith but I'm I'm too lazy to smith that. We get we would get like thirty seven raw swords and uh, crude swords. So I equip the eggs. And you just simply sell that stuff. You can smith it if you want to. Hi, I'm new here and I'd like to get to know the camp. Then you've come to the wrong place. Since the Templars started preparing for the fight, we've been busy day and night. I don't have much time for questions, so don't disturb me, unless you want to buy something. No, I want to say I'd like to trade with you. Good. Here, these are the weapons I have available at the moment. He's also just half shit. The only thing he has is a nail club. That is even worse as the weapon we got first in the game. So get the normal. You can even uh, buy that stuff and make and smith it to crude swords. We also get a little bit more, a little bit more money. But I'm not doing that. Yeah, money. You don't really need to worry about money that much. So some random stuff that you get to 200 ore. There we go. Thanks a lot. So it's the perfect. It's the perfect place uh, moment to stop the video here. In the next episode, we are going to we are going to do some quests for Sept Lunis. So don't miss that episode. Until then, au revoir.